Chicago Glory Powerhouse. Good evening. It's good to see everybody in here today, this evening, on this September 21st. It's a good Wednesday. Thank you for following us on Facebook at Chicago Glory Powerhouse. Thank you for following us on YouTube for everybody tuning in online. Your like, your share, your comment, it helps grow our views online, so please do your part to help us out. I'm just going to start off this morning with a prayer, and I'll just ask everyone this evening, and I'll ask everyone to bow your heads, please. Father God, in the name of Jesus, by the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, thank you for blessing us with your mercy, Lord God and your grace and your favor, Lord. It's an honor to worship and serve you, the true and living God, who was hung up on a cross, Lord, crucified for us, and rose back up from the dead three days later. Thank you for your healing power, Lord. Thank you for your deliverance power. It's an honor and a privilege to worship and serve you, Lord God, and your army, Lord to be under your command and your authority, Lord God. I am a child of God, and my Father has created the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that is in them. So we will trust in you, Lord God, and lean not to our own understanding. For you know all things, Lord. Circumcise our hearts and renew within us a right spirit, Lord God, to serve you truthfully, righteously, and with purpose and in honor. And everybody just make your mouth say, I am a child of God. Enjoy this service. Do nothing without you. We can do without you. Lord, 
right where the Spirit of the Lord is.
worship you. We worship you. worship you say lord of the breakthrough lord of the breakthrough lord of the breakthrough you are the lord of the breakthrough and we worship you we worship you Somebody say, Lord.
understand who God is, for God is a God of all wisdom. He's a God who comes and he comes to eradicate and remove a spirit of ignorance that seeks to destroy his people. God has informed us and he's told us that we need understanding that we could live. We need understanding to be able to speak with divine wisdom. We need understanding to utilize the authority and power that God has given us. Saints, we can't continue in the battles in the ways that we've been going. We have to, at some point in time, let the Lord know that, Lord, I put my trust in you. God sends a word tonight to let his people know he did not forget. I want you to prophesy to somebody right now or declare to them if you're not prophesying to them and tell them that God did not forget. I, 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 no, I, God did not forget. Don't add nothing to what I'm saying. God did not forget because every time it's not about us. Sometimes it's about his will. Sometimes it's about his process. And sometimes it's about his promise. We have to stop trying to see God in the accumulation of things, for life does not consist in the abundance of things, but life consists of the glory of God being revealed in those of us who confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. God empowered and embodied you with his Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit came for your solidification. He came to give your mind and your heart a certain type of a peace. A peace that would flow like a river. You see, we serve a God who prevails. And he prevails simply because he is God. I want you to understand something that God does not lose. God does not lose. God teaches us in the word that we must, through faith and patience, inherit. Inherit. 
to inherit means you have a rightful. In other words, you don't, if you don't have a right to it, you can't inherit it. We, through faith and patience, inherit the promise. The promise most often has a process associated with it. People love promises. They hate going through. But the word of God lets us all know that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom. You see, a lot of people will try to make you minimize your stance and your position in God. But God set the members in the house as it pleased him. And just in case you don't know, let me remind you of what he called Shekinah glory to be. First, he said it was a garrison. And a garrison is a fortified place in which those can come and they can seek rest and recovery. They can be made whole. They can get restoration. And God has sent people in that he understands that the world has already beat you down. But there is a healing in your ah, future. But it's up to you how long it takes to acquire it. In other words, healing has already happened. Because the end was declared from the beginning. So God knew you was going to face what you were going to face. But he wondered how long will it take you to exercise and utilize your faith to inherit the promise of your healing. God has blessed us in so many ways and he wants us to understand that we are to go from strength to strength according to Psalms 84 and 7 that, that, that we are to move from strength to strength. God wants you to be strong. He just don't want you going from faith to faith. He also wants you to have a strength when you go to that next, next, next level of faith. You see, so many of you are wounded and bruised by what life has brought you through that you forgot that God was on your side. I don't want to tell you what the Bible said. I want to tell you what Billy Davis is saying today. And Billy Davis is saying, the Lord is on my side. I don't know about you. I got to speak it from my perspective right now. I don't want to speak it out of the book because I've already seen it in the book and I ate it out of the book. And I'm here to tell you right now that if you want to see victory, you got to know that the Lord is on your side, that God has not forgotten you, that God said, whatever it is that you're going through, I've already quit the way for you. He said, when you go through the fire, I've made a way that you don't get burned. When you come through the water, I said, I already am not going to let it overtake you. But God said, I didn't say you would go through something but when you go through come on now God is right there with you you see so many come looking for one thing and it, is, it amazes me because I, 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 I want to know I, I want to know I, I, I gotta ask this question and it's not rhetorical I want you to ponder it I want you to ask yourself this do you go to the doctor looking for a prescription? Or do you go to the doctor hoping that your situation is going to change? You see, most people come to church looking for a prescription. Something out of the script, the Bible. <laughs> Instead of coming to church looking for their healing, sometimes you need to change the way you come and stop coming to hear what pastor said, but know that while he was yet speaking, the power of God overtook me, the Holy Spirit overtook me, and the peace of God came upon me, and I was healed as I listened to the word of God. Nobody laid hands on me, the word touched me. Nobody came to me, the word touched me. The word healed me, the word delivered me, the word set me free. You ought to be tired of Sunday after Sunday and Wednesday after Wednesday carrying home a prescription. Somebody ought to be excited to try to take a healing home tonight. 
Somebody ought to be excited to try to take deliverance home tonight. You, you shouldn't want to take another lesson home. What did he teach about? What did he, oh, he taught good, eh, 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 and it's just another script. Sometimes we get so caught up in not knowing who God is. So tonight as I speak, God did not forget. I speak in front of the perspective of Billy Joe Davis, Jr., pastor, prophet, graced apostle. That's who I am. Shall I understand covenantal blessings? So when I said Father God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I understand the blessings that I moved up under with my expectation. I move a little further and I say Father of Elijah and Elisha. So that now my prophetic can flow, oh my goodness, and, and I'm able to do something because God has called us to move in a prophetic wind in this season. It's time out for you just holding a book in your hand now. You're going to have to open your mouth, and you're going to have to speak yourself out of your situation. You're going to have to believe that God has called you and empowered you to be able to say the difference out of your spirit, man. And it makes a difference in somebody's life. When I say father of Paul and Timothy, I understand now that God is saying that, look, on, hold on a minute, Billy Joe. I, I need you to know who Paul was and to stand in the apostolic grace so that as you learn, like, as Timothy learned, my goodness, when you walk and you do, you do what you have seen Paul do. See, if you can't see him do it, you just read about it. Let me, let, me, let me say that again. You, you understand what I'm saying? Perspective is everything. Tell your perspective is everything. So, when I beseech God, and, and I beseech him for his loving kindness and his tender mercies, when I beseech God on behalf of myself and Shekinah Glory Powerhouse, when I ask him to meet our needs, when I ask him to stop your financial turmoil, when I ask him to stop your emotional turmoil, when I ask him to deliver us from the evils of this present world, I know what I've asked him, and I know the grace by which I stand. And the grace by which I stand said, God said, your healing is in place tonight. The question is, did you come to get healed, or did you come to hear another word? Because your healing is in place tonight. By faith we stand, my goodness, by, by faith we stand. We stand in our allegiance to God. We stand pronouncing what God has said. I am the healed of the Lord, and with his stripes I am healed. So many bodies are under attack right now, but God sent a word tonight to let his people know that, look, if you know who your father is, if you understand who has proprietary rights over you, if you understand who you signed your lease with, my goodness, if you understand who moved on the inside of you, who kicked out everything that was not like God, if you understand who excavated, eradicated, and eliminated those things that were not like God, if you understand all of those things, you'll stop being caught up in the self-pity that you've been walking in and realize that, hold on a minute, it's time that I go to another pump and I allow God, because I'm empty on the inside, I allow God to fill me with joy. Because you're empty on the inside, you allow God to send peace. Peace that surpasses the storm that you are in. God sends you peace in the midst of what you're in. Look like everywhere you turn, east, west, north, south, trouble is looking at you. But the Bible already told you that you were troubled on every side. Sometimes you got to not let trouble look at you. Sometimes you got to look for trouble so you can tr trouble your trouble and let trouble know I come in the name of Almighty God and I come with a power because I've been endued with power from on high. God sent me on a mission. God sent me to bring glory to his name. God sent me that I walk as the healed of the Lord. God sent me as I walk as one who has peace in their mind, I won't be troubled by my situation. My bank account won't matter. I wish I had real saints up in here who understand I know how to praise God when there's money in the account. And I know how to praise God when my account 
is very, very malnourished. But to God be the glory. To God be the glory. God is not forgotten. God is not forgotten. He wants you to know his intentions. And his intentions is that you be blessed. He don't want you to have a relationship with him because it's convenient. No, 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 no. He wants you to know. He's calling you by name. And he's not coming in on the coast of Caesarea Philippi now. But he's coming in Panama City and whatever city you may be in. And he's coming in that city and he's posing a question. Who do you, by, by, by your name, who do you say that I am? Who, how do you know me? How do you know me? Do you know me as healer? Do you know me as deliverer? Do you know me as, how do you know me? See, so many people come to church to know somebody, my goodness. But they don't come to know Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? We have to know Jesus to know peace. We have to know Jesus to know where profound, somebody say profound liberty. Say it again, profound liberty is found. In, in other words, we are told to stand fast in the liberty wherefore Christ has made us, what? Free. She, God sent liberation and emancipation, but we are just like the slaves were. Many of you that's been delivered by him, the slaves were emancipated, but they stayed enslaved. Many of them did because they thought it was better in Egypt. My goodness. I, I, you see, God had already set many of you free, but you think it was better on the other side. You're scared to fully commit to God right now. But God sent me with a word to tell you tonight that I didn't forget you. And by, by that, he's not saying I didn't forget to bless you. He's saying I didn't forget that I called you. God called you by name. God called you with a holy calling. God called you with a purpose in mind. God called you and he said, I want to get some glory out of you. Can I get some glory out of you before you depart this earth? Can you give God the praise that's in the honor that's due his name? Or will you go to the grave carrying every gift with you to the cemetery? We sit so dormant in church and we just wait on somebody to elicit an emotion from us, to, to, to make us feel good, to, to give us a warm feeling. But, but there are no warm feelings. To, no, 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 no. There's relationship. And, and tonight, he's saying, I want you to know that I didn't forget that I called you. If you know the person who's close to you by name, just call their name and tell them God didn't forget he called you. Uh, you might be trying to forget that you called. You know what I'm saying? You may be trying to forget that you called, but God said, I didn't forget that I called you. And the only reason that you're yet alive, the only reason that you weren't destroyed by the enemy, the only reason that the car wreck didn't take you out, no, 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 no. The only reason that the sin, no, 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 no. The only reason huh, that you're still here is God called you by name. And when he called you by name, he knew he had deposited a gift on the inside of you. And God wanted you to walk in the strength of that gift. Sometimes you got to walk and talk to yourself in the mirror. Whom do I say that I am? I don't want to know who men say that I am. Who are you saying that you are? And that's why the young man, uh, Minister Jakari, said, earlier tonight I am a child of God if you don't know nothing else you ought to know who your father is if you don't know nothing else you ought to know what house you can return to if you don't know nothing else you ought to know who provides for you if you don't know anything else you know that your father is the one who sent the power of healing in case you didn't know he also provides maybe you didn't get the news flat God wants you to understand something right now that what you're going through is not strange to him. He said, don't you think it's strange concerning this fiery trial that is trying you right now? 
but God wants you to know how to give him a praise. See, God wants a real praise, and a real praise is a sacrificial praise. A sacrificial praise pushes beyond circumstance. It pushes beyond the norm. It pushes beyond everything that people expect it from you. See, you got to bless the name of the Lord. My goodness, I will bless the Lord at I will bless the Lord at I will bless the Lord at When things are good, I'll bless the Lord. Hey. God sends his word. He sends his word because he wants you to understand that his word had instant power. Somebody say instant power. I'll leave that alone, Pastor David, but go ahead and make the example by the way of the Holy Spirit. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell you, he's finna talk to you, he's finna talk to you. I'm finna, I'm finna move on your block, I'm finna move on your block. Even at home, I'm getting ready to move on your block. You remember, you tried to say it was a long, long time ago, but a long time ago for some of y'all with this past weekend, you know you went in the store and you got a stretch. I said you went in the store and you got a stretch off. And when you got that stretch off, you were looking to be in instant. See, the devil knows how you to how to make you expect an immediately an immediate return. But when it comes to God, you think you got to go through season after season after season but I come to tell somebody today you ought to stretch that flow with your feet and give God a praise up are you having you want to stretch off a piece of paper you ought to stretch that floor with your feet and let God know my goodness I will yield a praise to your God I'll bless you right now God I do it by faith I expect it by faith because I know that my faith will settle my case look at somebody tell them your faith will settle your case Tell him you got a high-profile attorney, and his name is Jesus. Leave that alone, Pastor David. Back out of that. Back out of that. It's going to take you away. It's going to take you away. I got a high-profile attorney, and guess what? I didn't have to pay anything for him. All I had to do was sign up and say, Jesus is Lord over my life, and now I need you to advocate on my behalf because I got some things that I'm being found guilty of. I don't have real people yet. I've got some things that other people know. But God, I thank you that Jesus is my defender. And I thank you that he's not a public defender. He's my defender. He's my private. He's my private defender. He is my joy. He is my peace. And when he presents my case, I'm, I'm talking about my case now. I don't know about your case. I don't know about your case because, see, a lot of times, a lot of y'all go with a false witness. And you give a false witness about your own situation. But somebody ought to say, Lord, I need your help. And Lord, if you don't help me, my situation, circumstance, or condition will not change. But God, I thank you that you allow me to see crisis. I thank you that you allow me to see conflict. I thank you, God, for it taught me to keep my trust in you. So glory to God. 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 I can tell real faith witnesses because a real faith witness is vocal. They begin to vocalize that God is God and God is my healer, that he is my peace, that he is my provider, that he's everything. He's everything. He's everything. And when I need him, he'll build battle lights for me. I don't have to fight in every battle. I say, God, go before me. And I say, Lord, I thank you that my victory is assured. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your grace. Son. Thank you for your mercy. You've been so good to me. God, I thank you 
for your Holy Spirit regulating my faith. And God, I release most precious faith, Father, to bring to pass those things that I've said that you would do. Heal right now in the name of Jesus, uh, Deliver right now in the name of Jesus. Send peace to a troubled mind in the name of Jesus. Send provision into a home that has lack in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch right now in the name of Jesus. God, I snatch pain from pain in bodies right now, God. Bodies that's inflamed with pain. I snatch the pain in the name of Jesus. I, and I nullify to the glory of God. Hello, Sunda. Yeah, God, I thank God. I thank you that you are divine healer. In the name of Jesus. I, I thank you, God, that your power was present to heal tonight. And that your power is present to deliver tonight. So God, we thank you for delivering peace. We thank you, God, for delivering healing. We thank you, God, for delivering joy. We thank you, God, for delivering provision, God. We thank you right now, God, for paying a bill for somebody that's been asking you, God, how am I gonna pay this bill? The glory of the Lord has risen upon you the way has been made. You ought to give God the glory to kind of let out a shout in this house right now. At home, let out a shout to the glory of God. Come on, bless the name of the Lord. God, we thank you. Lord, we thank you that your word is confirmed and established. And we give you the praise for it. And we thank you, God. And God, we build an altar right now, God. A sacrificial altar of praise right now. And we glorify your name. We are not ashamed uh, of the gospel of Christ. Uh, for it is your power unto our salvation. And we give you the glory for it. And we honor you for it. In Jesus' name. Uh, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, 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 Santa. Hey. In the name of Santa. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Touch, Lord. Touch right now, God. Fire of the Holy Ghost burn in the name of Jesus. Heal in the name of Jesus. Remove masses in the name of Jesus. Fire up tumors, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Remove cysts, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, I thank you right now, God, that the Spirit of God, by the stripes of Jesus, heals rheumatoid arthritis in the name of Jesus. And I give you the praise for it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you're healing migraines in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you right now, God, that you're protecting vision in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray right now that you'll take away joint pain in the name of Jesus. Take it away. Give dexterity and flexibility, God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for it right now, in the name of Jesus. So God, we thank you. We thank you for faith. We thank you for grace. We thank you for mercy. We thank you for your righteousness. And God, we praise you. And we honor you right now. And God, we choose tonight to paralyze our fear by giving you a right praise, a right praise, a dutiful praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. He said, call unto me, and I'll answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things. I heard a voice, I did a voice that thou knewest not.
God of praise. Give God of praise. Saints, in this season and in this time, please adhere to the instructions of the house. Pray for America. Pray for America. Because if America is not protected, your home is not protected. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. These things are incumbent upon us as a body of believers, but the thing more specifically in the assignment that God has given to me to remind the body of Shekinah Glory Powerhouse is that in this season, we must return our children back to him. There's no age if they're your child that you don't return them back to God. At what age do they stop being your child if you're the parent? Yield your children to God. My instructions are the same tonight as they were last night. Your children may not be in the city that you're in right now, but just take a piece of paper, write their name down, write all their name down, but don't pray a joint prayer for them. Pray for them name by name. Because one thing a parent knows, and especially a mother, they know the personality of their children. I wish I don't have real people yet. So why are you praying when you know your children got very diverse personalities and yet you're trying to put a common prayer on them? Take the time and pray. Take the time and pray. Return your children back to God. Return your children back to God. Can't impress that enough. God loves us. God loves us. We are to love him back. We are to respect and honor the land from which he brought us into. And all of you that's trying to say if you had your choice, you would be somewhere else. Look, you don't even know anything about anywhere else. Most of you haven't even been out of Florida, the truth be told. And if you did, it was so short a visit that you didn't have a chance to know what it was like to live there. Am I right? I'm not here to hurt anybody, and I pray to God that not that you would just come on, come on up, that you not only that you were empowered, but that you that God moved spiritually. This was a, this wasn't to be a lesson tonight. I didn't want a lesson. Tonight we call again for a second return of change, so that we could get to our goal. I had a goal in mind. We got very very close to it, but we didn't cross that threshold and. We need to cross that threshold with change tonight. If you got change, if you got some change, you can bring it up and set it on the table. If, uh, you can do cash out, dollar sign, capital SGPHW, then the ELL, SGPH well is the cash out. Change on the table. We're trying to get to a specific goal that we have. Change makes a change. While I'm on, let me go ahead and put this out. Two things that we have going on right now. I, about two, three weeks ago, I put out a request to the several men asking you to purchase a canopy. I'm in need of the canopies now. I'm three weeks behind in processing what I was going to do with them. I'm going to ask that if you're tuned in or you're hearing me, give me some kind of update. Because right now, our mission is being thwarted. The second thing that I wanted to stress, we're getting ready to do a 31-day calendar. And I want you to hear me clearly online as well as in here. We're doing a 31-day calendar. On that 31-day calendar, we are seeking to help a family that's struggling with a situation that they're going to have to pay each night for recovery. They're really going to have a 90-day process. We're trying to cover 31 days at $50 a night. I ask those of you 
allow the Holy Spirit to touch your heart to take a night, to take a night, $50. So as you put your name in the square, we ain't printed it yet, but as you put your name in the square, you can let, you know, Elder Thompson know and just pick a date. You can pick a date right now because all of them open. And we'll put your name in that square and that $50, we're going to we gonna fill this calendar pretty quick and get the money into the hands of the people that need it. Is that all right? Okay, neighbor, that's, that's what ministry is right there, in case you forgot. In case you want to know what we do, we do an awful lot. You just don't know what we do. So we're seeking and whatever. So you, you do your math. It's a little over $1,500. I can help you out. If you want to do the math, I'll help you out. I'll tell you what it is. $1,500 to help a family. Well, I thought we had a threshold. We have a threshold in situational things. This is not going out of the church treasure. This is coming out of the believers to help a family. Y'all understand me? So at home, I ask that you can you check, uh, uh, get a hold of Elder Thompson the best way you can, or just send us fifty dollars and we'll pick we'll pick a day. Now, if you're gonna send us cash out, send us about fifty three dollars. Cause we, we that administrative cost deducts and then we short. You see what I'm saying? And so we do that time thirty, it start equating to some dollars. Then. May return the time, give off. Father God, we thank you for the return of tithe, the giving offering, the sowing of seeds. We thank you, God, for allowing us to be rooted and grounded and settled here at Chicago Glory Powerhouse. God, we bless this house financially because it is a blessed house. We sow here because it's fertile ground. We tithe here because you rebuke the devourer for our sake. So, God, we thank you. That through our giving, resources are available for the kingdom. And we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen again. No need for curiosity. No need of trying to find out more than what you need. What you need to know is 31 people at $50. Is that all right? Because I know y'all. I'm saying it online. I know y'all. And y'all can become petty. And I don't have time to deal with pettiness. I'm trying to help a family. Is that all right? Did I miss anything? I'm good. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. God bless you. Have a great night.